Hello and welcome to the Milkman and Reverend show. I'm Milkman. I'm Reverend. And uh, hey, we're back after what seems like an eternity. Was it a month? <laughs> at least. It was a month. It might have been long. Yeah. I mean, we're kind of a monthly podcast at this point. <laughs> Not a weekly. Not a weekly, a monthly. A week. Yeah. Well, hey, nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, we, you know, things are going on and things are not going on. I don't know. You know, anyway, we're uh, Milkman and Reverend. We are a kind of a pop culture geek, comic book, movie, just a geek podcast where two friends. You name it, we're it. We'll talk. We'll, we're going to randomly talk for the next hour or so about random shit that we've done or not done <laughs> in the last month. <laughs> that sounds about right for us. Uh, you can find our oh. podcast, our podcast, uh, our podcast, our what podcast, the hell is a podcast, you know, our tampon podcast. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, no, a pad is different than a tampon. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, you can find our podcast, uh, on any great, any of the really good, you know, podcast platforms. You can also find us on youtube.com slash milkman pictures. And this episode will launch, uh, we are uh, Spotify allows you to watch videos now. So if you are if you're a user of Spotify and you just listen to us, you can also also watch us on Spotify now. So although I don't know why you would, you know who knows? It's just something they offer and it's cool. And I don't I can do oh, less I mean, editing I'm, now. <laughs> I'm just, I'm talking about them wanting to watch us. Oh yeah, who would want to? <laughs> well, now you can see now that I, I convinced. Uh, Rev to kind of turn a bit. You can see all his, like not all of him, but you can see him a, a lot of his action figures in the background. His like museum of toys. Uh, but uh, and you know my geek hovel is still just how it is. So, um, yeah. I think last time we talked a month ago, we were gonna try and do a list, but I didn't do that. <laughs> We were supposed to do a list. I didn't Remember, we list. were thinking about doing like super underrated characters or something crazy like that. Oh, but I no. never talked to you about it. I didn't do it. <laughs> I didn't uh, do it either because I forgot. Yeah. So uh, I guess we'll start with comic books. Uh, what? What? Where, where, where would you like to start? Have you read anything exciting this past month? Not really. Not nothing's, really. Comics suck. Nothing's been exciting in my comics stacks. You just. I, mean, just I, I, I finished my Marvel or my DC stack finally, but now that my new shipment's coming in, so it'll build up again. Uh, finished the Transformer stack. That was a lot of a big stack. Uh, I'm going to start on my Marvel stack tonight, which is huge. Just nothing, um, nothing's doing it nothing, for you. Nothing exciting right now. Why are you wasting your money on all these comic books? What else would I waste my money on? I don't know. More toys? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, like I need more. I don't know. Whatever. That's such a <laughs> Well, you know, Lego Optimus does come out on June first. So, the Lego one. Yeah. Oh man, can you pre-order that yet or no? No, you can't pre-order it. Is that you like some? Is it gonna be like some have... kind of lottery thing or something weird? Oh. No, it's it's mass re, uh, mass release on June first. Oh wow, one hundred and seventy, isn't least... it? One hundred and seventy. Yeah. Jeez, it's really cool. Yeah. Uh, it, yeah. Are you saving for it? Or you got the money? I have, I have money already saved up <laughs> saved for it. Aside for it. Of course you do. <laughs> of course I do. It's Optimus Prime Lego. Uh, I I don't know. You probably already did your DCB service <sighs> thing for yeah. this. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I already did uh, Maze. I haven't done June Did yet. you see those little uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle PVC statues? They're like thirty bucks each. Yes, I. They I, I awesome. Huh? Did you did you order them? I I didn't order all of them because I don't have the money to just throw away it. Like it was like what going to be like one hundred and twenty bucks for all of them or something. But I did get the Who'd Leonardo. You order? I did get the Leonardo one. Okay. But they don't come I out till Christmas. Liked... Well. So I thought you liked Raph. No, I'm a Leonardo guy. Oh. I have yeah. If you look up if you look up my Ninja Turtle collection, I mostly have Leonardo's. Okay. But anyway, I can't really see up there. I know, I know, I know. My my I'll my my tiny toy collection versus <laughs> Rev's massive toy collection. Yeah, I posted up all my all my shelves up oh, on uh, Instagram the other day. I saw that. Yeah. 
We need to do like a video, like a fly through video. I should. <laughs> yeah, but it won't be fast. <laughs> you could speed it up. Anyway, uh. My comic, I did, uh, you know, I don't, I Rev reads like a million comics in, in a day, and then I only read like, in the, in the last time we talked, I read two comics. Oh, what'd you read? Two number ones, though, because I do my hey, number ones. That's your thing. I read, read? The, the new X-Men 92, which is like a continuation oh, nice. of the cartoon. Uh, nice. It feels like the cartoon. I feel like they're trying to shoehorn a bunch of what's happened with the X Men into this. Like, it's kind of interesting. It's weird. It's okay. I mean, oh, you mean you mean like Krakoa? Yeah, they, that Magneto's now you know on the X Men team. All this like kind of just hmm. stuff, you know. In like since you know what you know since ninety two since the cartoon, you know. So all this stuff they've like yeah. kind of shoehorned to like change the X Men, but it totally feels like a a continuation of the cartoon, and. Uh, That's awesome. It's fun, you know. I enjoyed it. It's not, I don't know. It's not gonna blow your socks off if you're like you've been reading X Men. You know, it's like, oh, this is interesting. <laughs> it's kind of like a brief overview, catch you up. I think that's, I think that's in my Marvel stack, so I'll get to it. And then uh, this is a, a new uh, Red Sonia book I'm reading, Immortal Red Sonia. And yeah, are you actually reading it though? Did you I, actually read it? I did read it. You did. I Holy did read shit. it. Uh, this is an interesting book too. Uh, as you see, she's not wearing a bikini. Yeah, she's wearing chainmail. Uh, she well, her bikini was always chainmail. Okay, she's wearing a chainmail shirt. Okay, <laughs> sorry, I got it half wrong. She's also a bit younger. This is kind of like a re- like a kind of a. Well, re- I can't see her face. Oh well. There you go. I mean, she always looks young because it's comics, but she's yeah. uh. It's kind of a re envisioning of the character, so it's like uh different. Like in for I'll just spoil this little thing, like the chainmail shirt is uh cursed and she can't take it off. Oh. And she's trying to figure out the curse so she can get it off. Okay. So it's and it's actually really well done. I actually really enjoyed this first issue. I actually I'm very excited to keep reading this. This is like, you know, kinda new kind of territory. So uh those are the two books I have read. And I enjoy yeah. both of them, so I will continue reading them. And obviously, they're in my pull list, and I buy them. And Good. Just, I'm, I'm sure I have up to like four issues of each just hanging out in my <laughs> 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 that I'll probably never read. <laughs> yeah, probably not. Uh, kind of what you do. Uh, yeah, right. So yeah, um, but yeah, uh, that Leonardo thing was super cool. There was also I thought about getting that. Uh, Glass Ronin Michelangelo. <gasps> spoiler, mm-hmm. spoiler. Sorry. I already knew who it was. <laughs> no, but everyone else listening. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure they knew too. But uh, ultimately, I was like, nah, I like the little like, PVC statue. I kind of like the cartoony, exaggerated. Uh, I really dug it. I'm hoping, my hope is that if they don't come out till December, I can order the other ones. Like, I can order another one next month, but we'll see. See if if they mm. if they pre order really fast or if I can still pull one like order them before they all launch. So we'll see. Oh, you're gonna try to order one a month? Yeah, basically, if that's possible. They'll I probably they'll, they've probably already been they're probably like pre ordered to, you know. Oh yeah, they're probably probably already sold out. I just didn't have 120 30 bucks to just drub, which oh. sucks. Yeah, I'm not I'm not I'm it. not Mister Money Pants McGee over here. Dropping 170 bucks on tra- <laughs> fucking Optimus Prime. <laughs> yeah, that's a cool transformer, though. Like, do we know right? if they're gonna do more, or is that? I mean, you kind of they don't know yet. They're gonna they're gonna see how it sells. Oh, I'm sure that's gonna fucking then, sell like fucking. Oh yeah, it's gonna <laughs> sell like crazy. <laughs> they're just waiting to see. Oh, I'm sure. And then they'll. They'll probably do Megatron and Soundwave, Starscream, Bumblebee. Right. You know. The huge. Yeah, the usual ones. And Maybe then, even a Grimlock. That'll never happen. I know. It, if, I that, know, that's wishful thinking. If that did happen, you know, but they'll, yeah, they probably never do it. Uh-uh. <sighs> no, they won't. Um, so last we talked, I don't, we haven't talked about, I don't think we talked about the Batman. 
did we talk about the Batman? I don't think we did. No, because you were going to watch it. Yeah, I was going to watch it on streaming, and I did watch it. I watched it. I watched it actually multiple times. What'd you think? Spoiler: I think this is the best Batman movie ever made. You think so? Yeah. Why is that? Uh, why is that? Uh, Amazon, uh, show up. Alexa, oh, Amazon, show up. Amazon, Alexa. <laughs> Fucking Jesus! I don't know why she started talking. You said something. You pissed her off. I guess. I guess. Anyway. Uh, why do I think it's the best Batman movie? Well, first of all, I think it's incredibly grounded. It makes yeah. Nolan's Batman movies look campy, in my opinion. Like it's like it's look like campy? it's like, like campy. Like it's just like huh. like. Uh, it's. Uh, I also like that it's incredibly long, and arty. It's very artsy. Very long shots, really slow paced. I like I like the fact that it's really detective focused. Not mm-hmm. super gadgety, you know? Not like Yeah. Uh but ultimately I feel like it's a better origin story. Even though they don't tell how he be- decides to become Batman, it's a better origin story on how he becomes Batman. Yeah. Because if you look at it, the character he plays in that movie up until the very end, not until the very end does he become Batman the hero. He's just kid who hates the world, you know, vengeance, you know, the whole vengeance thing. Yeah. And he's just very full of angry. rage and angry. And it's not until the end that he becomes a different person. And you don't get that in the Nolan films. He's basically the same for the most part. He just yeah. a little bit in the beginning, maybe when he's trying to figure out, but he's just kind of the same Batman through all three films. This movie, he's just a different Batman. He's like this vengeful motherfucker. And then at the end, he realizes that he has to inspire hope. And I think that is what I re- like that whole end. I've watched that ending like multiple times and I just I think it's really well done. Anyway, I really enjoyed it. Really dug it. Uh, yeah, I think it's the best Batman movie. I can't. That's pretty much it. That's. But what did you think of it, Mister Rev? I liked it when I when I saw it. Um, I didn't go back and watch it again. I, <laughs> it was really long for me for some reason. I just couldn't. I agree. Drag myself to sit and watch it, and I did not like Gimp Suit Riddler. Oh, I'm fine with it. I'm fine with Gimp Suit Riddler. I did. I just didn't like the Gimp Suit on the Riddler. It just something about it bothered me. Because you're into games, I get it. Uh, no, I'm used to seeing the Riddler in you know the bowler hat with the cane and all that shit, not in a leather jacket with a gimp mask on. I get it. Yeah, I mean that's an easy. Uh, I guess, from my opinion, he's not. He's the Riddler. And he acts mm-hmm. like the Riddler. I just don't feel like he's also new at this, and I feel like it's a very he's uh, learning how to be himself too. Yes, I think once you know his little friendship he makes once he's in Arkham, I think that'll play off. You know, if this you know this movie is getting a sequel, I think it'll play differently. You know, he'll be a little bit mm-hmm. more flamboyant, and because of his new friend he meets, but uh. And I don't think he'll keep oh. that suit. I don't think he'll... I, oh, I think that suit was designed specifically for, you know, the plot that they did in the film, you know, where yeah. everyone... Oh, yeah. You know, you know you're know, you not going to have a whole bunch of guys in bowler hats. It's easier to... Anybody can be the Riddler. But now they, yes. they've exposed who he is. So now he doesn't... He can't... Hiding his face is pointless, you know? Yeah. So yeah. I feel like that's the next logical progression. So I was totally okay with all of that. I didn't... That didn't bother me. I thought it was super I creepy. I thought it... Did. I thought uh, what's your name is Catwoman was super cool. I enjoyed that kind of love their story. Their dynamic was really good. I like their dynamic. Um, Zoe Kravitz and mm-hmm. Rob Pattinson they work well together. I thought he was a great Batman, and uh, I, I get I get the emo jokes, and uh, I agree it's a long movie, man. It's really, but I you know I like that kind of artsy, slow paced, long, yeah. epic bullshit that gen, gen, you know some people that have you know. They want the, you know, whiz bang. And I'm okay with just, if it's a cool shot, well, I'm cool with sitting on it for a long time. 
<laughs> no, and I get that. And there, there were a lot of cool shots in that movie. There were. It just was a little slow for me. Yeah. No, I I, I, I can totally see that. I like the that we figured that they told us that this movie was year two. Right. And that he's still kind of afraid of heights when he was up on the building and his suit became a wingsuit. And his dumb move opening the parachute at the end on the bus. Running into the bridge. Doesn't quite have it all figured <laughs> out. He's he's all very kind yeah. of clumsy too, really. Yeah. You know, when he fights stompy, I mean, very stompy. This is a very stompy, dark, loud Batman. Right. Right. This is not a not a stealthy Batman. And I just I guess that's my hope in the sequels is that they keep kind of slowly changing him as a character. Making think, him evolve into the Batman that we know. Yes, because I think that's where you get I think that's where all the Batman movies kind of fail. You just have, and that's why a lot of the times the Joker, whoever's playing the Joker gets, you know, Heath Ledger or Jack Nicholson. They all, because they're the more pizzazzy acting scenario and like crazy. But like, if you allow the Batman to have an actual arc, I think that's when he gets more interesting. So like that Batman is the the most interesting Batman I've ever seen in my opinion. So, and I just yeah. I love it. Yeah, he was very interesting to to figure out that he was learning and that we didn't get another origin story. We didn't need another origin story, which is perfect. Like, you kind of felt like he just wanted to defeat the enemy and not was not really interested in saving people, you know? He just wanted to hurt yeah. people. And like, that's why yeah. that's so cool at that very ending when he just kind of makes that change that he decides to sacrifice himself. It's like, and then help the people and everyone's like scared of him. And, you know, there's mm-hmm. just like this kind of like change and like that he can inspire something other than just fear. Yeah. And I think he, that's he cool. goes from vengeance to hope. And it's really cool, you know, that's all kind of done visually. I just yeah. thought as a filmmaker, it's just super rewarding to see that versus, I mean, I don't know. I just really enjoyed it. Uh, you're right. Yeah. I think, I think it could have been, I think if they had trimmed it down a bit, it probably would have been a tighter film. I thought, you know, more people probably would have liked it more because of that. I get it. I mean, it's a three hour movie, man. That's, it's intense. Yeah. It is intense. <laughs> I, I, I like that, you know, at the, at the beginning he was, uh, stompy and dark, and by the end, he's the beacon of hope that they needed. Right. So with the walking oh. with the flare out of the floodwaters and shit, yeah, like leading them out. That 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 yeah. that whole sequence is, I think, like, and it's it's such a smaller thing too. Like, yeah, it, you know, like but it made the movie. Like Batman, it really like, did. Like Nolan's films, they're really well made. They're great, but every. I mean, they're kind of more classic comic book in the sense that every film ends on this massive action scenario, like mm-hmm. the, the train running through Gotham and blowing up shit, or the uh, the crazy. Uh, what is the end of the very yeah, last one? The blowing up, the blowing up of the. Anyway, it's just kind of like it's just yeah. this was like way more intimate and way more kind of like I don't know. I dug it. I like that. Yeah, yeah, it, it, I did like it too. That way. Um, what else have I s- seen? I started to watch the new Sonic movie. It's kind of nerdy, uh, but I had some... I was going to suggest that's what we watch for our next next one. The Sonic 2? Yeah. All right. I like, this, I like the first one. That the first was really one was good. great. So I'm halfway through that. I won't talk about it, then we can talk about that next time. Um, yeah. I don't know. This is kind of geek-related. Uh, I watched the first episode of the Halo show. I've heard that's really good. It's all right. I mean, I'm not a huge Halo guy. It does a lot yeah. of Halo-y things. Um, I don't know if I'll keep watching it. It's it's all right. Did, did you ever finish or start watching Moon Knight? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've, I've, I've watched. Didn't we talk about that last time? Did we not talk about I that? I don't remember. Probably. Yeah. I've watched The Moon Knights. Did you watch Obi-Wan? Not yet. Have not watched yeah. the two episodes of that yet. Did you? Really? Really good, yeah. Yeah, Bryn's, we'll, we'll talk about it next time. Bryn's in the middle of like powering through Stranger Things, uh, the first volume of Stranger Things. So I've, uh, I'm, she wants to, she wants to watch season one. No, 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 no. She's oh, season oh, four. Season four. Because gotcha. it has like ep- episodes that are like two hours long. 
Oh Jesus Christ! Yeah, so like, any movies. Yeah, there's like ep- like regular episodes, and then there's like these long ass episodes. Uh, so uh, she's doing that. So I'm waiting for her to finish oh. up because she wants to watch Obi Wan too. So I was just kind of, gotcha. you know, I have big hopes for Obi Wan, but you know, I didn't watch like the last uh, fucking Boba Fett. Boba? Uh, fuck, I mean, I don't give a shit about Boba Fett. People that like Boba Fett need to get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> that character was better dead. Anyway, <laughs> well, the last two episodes of the the book of Boba Fett become the Mandalorian. Oh, that's right. You, we did talk about that. You talked about that. You're right. <laughs> like Mandalorian. Like this guy is so boring. We need to get a different character on this show. Right. Um... <laughs> Let's bring back the Mandalorian. And make him better. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah. I just you know I don't know. I don't find that I don't find that actor very compelling. I don't know. There's just a lot of... Yeah. He's a support character. Anyway. Boba, yeah. Boba's never been a strong character. Not he even look, in the Marvel He looks comedy. cool, but looks can be deceiving. Uh, <laughs> yes, they can. I mean, he got knocked off a barge by a bland, blind man with a stick. Right? Right? I, yeah. It's just... Come on. Anyway. How awesome can you be if that happens to you? Not very awesome. Right? Not very I, awesome. I agree. I'm trying to think what else I want. I, uh... Oh, I was going to watch Morbius, but I didn't. Oh, God. I will not watch that. I'm going to watch it. I, I I was trying to make a point to watch it, but did you watch the new Chippendales Rescue Rangers yet? No. Oh, that's supposed to be really no, good. No, I haven't. Oh, you, Is don't it? Have, you don't have to. Di- what? It's on Disney+. I have Disney+. Plus. Oh, yeah. It's on Disney+. Plus. I just haven't watched it yet. Oh, I, yeah. I haven't. I kind of want the couch to do like a, a like a sit down and like because you know Aaron and Dave are Chippendale so I think it would be funny <laughs> anyway I don't know uh, yeah no. uh, what else uh, have you watched anything else no nothing geeky wise no man what have you been doing with your life Just I've been watching re watching Bones and reading my comics Bones how many times have you watched Bones this is the second run through. Oh, I feel like you've talked about this before. I probably did the last time or the time before that. Or you and t- only... or you and Bryn talked about it because Bryn was into that show. Maybe Bryn and I talked about it. I don't know. I don't remember. Why are you rewatching that? There's so much content there's nothing... out. There's so much content. There's nothing that's drawing me to it right now. Oh. I might give Halo a shot. You should give. You should. Yeah, I mean, I, I. I mean, I don't know. I wanna. Did you oh, watch... I was watching Picard. Oh yeah, I didn't like. It's okay. I didn't care for that. Uh, the second season is a time jump thing, so I don't know how I feel about that one. Oh, we did watch. Uh, I don't. I don't know why we didn't go back to it. We watched that first episode of um, uh, Star Trek: Strange New Worlds on Paramount, and that's really good. I don't know is it? And Maybe it's it's a little it's actually kind of more classic Star Trek, but for some reason really? we just haven't gone back to it. Like Bryn's mm-hmm. watching other things and I'm doing other stuff. But yeah, that's like because Discovery got a little too kind of crazy, and I lost interest yeah. in that. Picard I never got into, but Strange New Worlds is kind of like classic Star Trek, and uh, okay, and uh, I'm kind of excited to see where it goes. But I just we watched the first episode, really liked it, and then I, we haven't gone back to it. It's because it does that thing where, you know, it's funny when you watch shows and the shows that do that thing where they release every week, I just Mm -hmm. forget to come back. Yeah. Instead of the mass release, like Stranger Things. Yeah. That's kind of like, that's kind of one of the things with Obi-Wan is like, I kind of like, I want to watch it, but at the same time, I just, I wish it would just all drop (laughs) at the same time. So I could just watch it, you know? (laughs) So you can binge it all in one sitting. Yeah. I get It, it. It's way more easy that way. I don't know. Having to come back just drives me nuts. Yeah. Oh, I did start playing uh, Jedi Fallen Order. You never played that? No. Oh, wow. I just bought it. Nice. It's a I great game. It. Actually, I'm, I'm not very far into it, but it is pretty fun yeah. so far. Uh, yeah, they just announced the sequel. Really? Yeah, Jedi... What is it? Jedi Survivor. Oh, that's kind of cool. But yeah, it's same uh, kid. Yeah, same, same, same kid. Same kid from Shameless. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Ian from Shameless. 
Yeah. But yeah, uh, was, I like that show. Uh, that's a great show. Um, did you finish it? I did not. Bryn just told me the end. Ah, uh, the end was kind of sad, but you knew it was going to happen. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Jedi Fallen Order. That's a great game. Uh, it can get a little tough. But I am still walking around the ship, and I'm on the. Uh, that's about all as far as I've gotten. I just started playing it. I'll be. Uh... I'll be interested. I'll I'll like to hear how uh, if you make it through, if you stick with it. I probably will. It's it's a Star Wars game. Those are fun. Oh, I know. It just this combat can be a little tough sometimes. That's all I'm saying. Well, it's on the easiest setting. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's cool. I haven't. I've still been. As well, I well, I mean, you, video game wise, you... I I it's not it's not really nerdy. Well, it's just kind of weirdly nerdy. So I don't. Are you, so uh, are you playing Elden Ring still? No. Oh uh, yeah, but not in the last couple of weeks. I I've been I, the two games I bought this year in like February or March were Elden Ring and Gran Turismo Seven. So I've been playing a lot of Gran Turismo Seven, and I just beat that recently. Mm-hmm. But then there came news the other day that Sony's in talks. They're trying to get Neil Bloomkamp of uh, District Nine fame. He's the guy that directed District Nine. Yeah. They're trying to get him to and Chappie and Chappie and Elysium. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway, they're trying to get him to uh, direct a Gran Turismo movie. Really? Whatever that is. <laughs> but it just seems like a weird director to try and uh, yeah. get to direct Gran Turismo race car movie. I don't know. Anyway, that was interesting news this week. That's kind of weird. Yeah. But I love Gran. I love you know I love my race car games. So of course you do. Um, so I was playing that, and then so I beat that. And beating it only means that you know you completed the campaign and all the credits roll, but then there's just still so much shit to do in that game, so... Of course. I'll probably keep playing it, but I need to go back to Elden Ring and finish that. Uh, Jared is hounding me to play co-op, so I'm sure at some (laughs) point I'll play some more of that. I need to beat it. I mean, I've put, like, so many hours... I'm almost at the end. I think I'm at the end. I just need to fight the final bosses. I'm just... Oh, one of those. You just... Well, I haven't... You don't want to play it I haven't even fought them yet. I just I I like the game so much that I kind of hold it off, and then I don't know. I just get distracted with other things because I put it's I don't know. I'll I'll I will I will sit down at some point. It's my I think it's my favorite game of the year, and so I don't want it to be over. And I feel like I'm uh, really close. Yeah. And I, I get that anyway. But uh, yeah, Elden Ring super cool. Uh, I will have to you know I'm gonna have to restart. Um... Cyberpunk 2020 or whatever it is, Cyberpunk. Why is that? Because I I put it down and I never started playing it again. Oh really? Yeah. Oh. I was gonna play I through sh- it again, but I uh, I haven't. I said I was I going to. A- I said I was going to because they dropped the PS5 update, the free upgrade. Uh-huh. I, was, I was gonna play through it again, but I just haven't done that. I will. I will do it eventually. Maybe when I get tired of Fallen Order, I'll play it. They also have DLC coming out for that soon. We got an yeah. expansion, yeah. So I'll, I might hmm. pick it up again once that drops. I'm not sure if it's free or not, though. Yeah. I, hopefully, it's free. Yeah, fucking video games, dude. What else was I? Right. I was uh, uh Vanquish. I don't know if you ever heard of you know you know Bayonetta, right? Yes. So there's a the game called Vanquish by the same kind of team, and I, I was uh-huh. I, so you could get Bayonetta and Vanquish as a bundle, like a it's like the 10th anniversary bundle, and it's on sale right now. Uh-huh. And I got both of them for like 15 bucks. Oh, so I was bad. playing through Vanquish last night, and it's like, man, God, this is such an awesome game. Why did this game never get a sequel? Because no one bought it. But it's such a great yeah, fucking uh-huh. game, and uh, I was like, I've been playing through that, and, I, and I, I didn't realize how short of a game it was. So I might try and quickly beat that in the next couple of days. It's only like six hours long, so. But super cool game, really enjoy it. Like the Guardians game, super short but fun. Guardians of the Galaxy was long, dude. That's like twenty hours. Was it? Yeah, it felt short. I know, right? I could have kept playing. No shit. (laughs) Right. That was like a twenty-hour game, dude. 
<laughs> it felt really short. I think it was just because of the all the jokes and the fun. It was just a fun game. Yeah, no, that was a uh, uh, yeah. I was like, is this wrapping up already? And then I was like, oh, I've been playing this for like twenty hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's not. It's pretty normal. I think it just because it was so well told. Yeah, I think it just yeah well made, well told. You just felt like you were just on this ride. Well, yeah, it, the whole thing was a damn ride. All the in jokes and that thing and everything, just fucking awesome. Yeah, now those those guys got sold, that studio. So Squ- uh, Square Enix owned huh. Crystal Dynamics and Edios Montreal, and then they sold that to this other company. So they'll probably never make a sequel to Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> of course they won't. <laughs> Why would they? But uh, that's too bad. I don't think that, I honestly the two bad the, the bad thing about that is that I don't think that game sold very well. It was really well made and done, but I don't think it sold very well. Because, I don't think it was either. Because that fucking Avengers game bombed. Yeah. I bought that too. Have you it played was it? 20 bucks. Not yet. You want to go outside? It's all right. It's just kind of oh. nah. I'll be right back. Yeah. Come on. Go outside. There goes Matt walking through his living room, through a sea of toys. Oh, little shit. I don't want to go outside. What are you talking about, Dad? Not you. Shut up. No, it's like he, she, I, was, I, was, I was personifying her. Oh, no. She... I don't know what she wants. Come here. Stop. Come here. Stop. Give me attention. Take me on a walk. Come here. Come here. It's like, no. Come here. Hey, look at this Bella. She's like, what the fuck is this about? What's going on? You want a cookie? Oh, cookie. No. Oh, maybe. <laughs> yes, no, cookie. <laughs> maybe not. Who knows? Maybe she'll, she's gonna probably going to go bury it in the bedroom. Oh, my God. You got... So, what I do need to do is read this, but I... Is that your omnibus? Holy... Holy cow, is it massive? It's like so big. Like, this is my biggest omnibus. I don't have, I, I think it's the biggest one I have. It's crazy. So I gotta read this. Um, I have the Annihilation Wave of, of, um, of that, the other version. But, uh, it's the second it's, part. It's pretty cool, Rev. Yeah, oh, I know. I have that in, uh, in separate trades. But, uh, yeah, so I need to do that. I, I, one of these, I guess we could reread this and we could, t- we could do a, like a, we could do like a page for page, like walkthrough of this, uh, <laughs> that could be, that could be something. <laughs> it would be a long podcast. Okay. We could, we could speed it up a bit. We don't have to do a page for page. Yeah. We could do a page for page. <laughs> we could do a page for page breakdown and we just do like. <laughs> Multiple episodes. It could be like Milkman Reverend, the Annihilation Show. <laughs> anyway, I need to read we it. Could do that. I'm very yeah, excited to read it. It's 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 funny. One of those things. Like I remember, uh, when I got back into comic book reading. Like so, like in the early days of Comic Geek Speak, when I was listening to that podcast mm-hmm. and I was started found out about DCBS and I got was getting back into comic books. I remember, I remember when this was coming out in single issues, and I was like, "Man, should I get that?" Nah, I don't know. So I didn't get it in singles. <laughs> didn't get it in trades. And I just and everyone's like, "Oh man, you missed out on that. It's such a good. Sh- it's a blah blah blah." You've said it multiple it times, a, Brad. It was a good read. Brad yeah. has told me multiple times. It's like anyway. So I'm looking forward to it. I think you'll enjoy it. I had a chance to have it all in individual issues from Tyler oh, yeah. when he sold his collection. But I was an idiot and I totally forgot he had those and didn't and said I didn't want them. Yeah, see, Iron Fist is my other biggest one and Annihilation is way bigger. Yeah, it is. God, I got to go pull my omnibuses now and see which one's bigger. <laughs> Let's go take a walk. There is the... Uh... Well, that fucking that one you hate him the but the uh, Jessica, what's her name? So, 
there's my omnibuses annihilation Qu- conquest thunderbolt oh, the x-men that one's huge what is that it's fucking gigantic x-men versus uh, apocalypse. x-men apocalypse the 12 yeah that's my biggest one that one's nuts that's gnarly yeah yeah it's it's huge what is it jessica jones what was that what was that book called originally the bendis book what book the jessica jones one alias what alias Oh, Alias. Yeah, that omnibus is gnarly big. Have you seen that? Yeah. Because it collects the entire thing, and it's like a fucking phone book. Jesus Christ. It's crazy. That one's That's the biggest one I've ever seen, I think. That's ridiculous. I don't even know how you read something like that. You know? Because this is already... I mean, I've only read... Or reading the Iron Fist was kind of hard. You know? It's just kind of... It's. Mm-hmm. But... So I'm sure the Annihilation will be a little difficult, too. They're just so big and cumbersome. I have, uh, what else? What are the omnibus? No, those are the only two omnibus I have. I have a lot of big hardbacks, but those are the only two omnibuses yeah. I have. I have, like, Planet Hulk in the big hardback, House of X. Planet Hulk was a good book. Planet Hulk is great. Great. Yeah. I'm glad they took some of that stuff and put it into the Thor stuff. The Ragnarok? Well, no. Yeah, in, in, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, yeah. Korg and stuff. Yeah. Even though they're not exactly the same. No. <laughs> personifications of those characters. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> but it's cool that those characters showed up. Yeah. Oh, oh! I got a questions. I got some questions. Yeah. What what is your what is your take on the She Hulk trailer? How do you feel? How are you feeling you know, about that? I still haven't watched it. What? I know, I know, I know. I should. Oh, I just, I'm I excited. I'm, I'm gonna have to stop playing my game for a little bit and just pull <laughs> up a She Hulk trailer. Okay, okay. So like the She Hulk. Okay, so watch it on. Go to Disney Plus and watch it. Yeah, because uh, you can go to YouTube, but it's the old version, I guess. I think the old version's fine. I mean, all these fucking nerds came out. These like my, minority of nerds came out. Like, oh, it doesn't look very good. The CG's not very good. Well, the show's not finished yet, dude. This is just like a tra- a teaser, motherfucker. But no. So then Disney upgraded the the CG the for the trailer in their on the Disney Plus version. Okay. But I mean, I still think it looks fine. She looks hot. It's, it's funny you have this woman and then she gets big and kind of hot. And it's kind of funny. I don't know. I think it's cool. I think you can check it out. Also, the Willow trailer. Did you see that? The teaser? No. Oh, my God. Do, 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 do. Oh, my God. I'm super excited for that. I'm, I'm, I'm super I excited. I haven't seen Willow in over 20 years. Oh, well, it's on Disney Plus, bro. I know it's on Disney Plus. Such a good I movie. I just haven't had a uh, want to watch it. Okay, then did you go see Top Gun yet? No, I have not seen Top Gun. <laughs> you didn't go see Maverick? <laughs> it came out this weekend. No. This is a big I movie. It did. It's like fucking destroying the theaters. Is it? Oh, it's making a shit ton of money, dude. Uh huh. Have you seen it yet? No, because I won't go to the theater. I'm still uh, paranoid and anti COVID. Oh, uh, okay. Just. Uh, you know, like I could, I I understand going to a small art movie in a theater where there's no one in there, but going to a release of a big movie where there's just a bunch of mouth breathers, I'm still not quite ready for that. So I get it, especially when the case, you know, it's just you know, I'm just precautionary. You no, know, I understand. Plus, if I'm honest, as a film, you know, here's a here's a weird thing, and this is something Monty, our good friend Monty, doesn't understand. He loves movies and he loves the cinema theater experience. Okay. Right? And that's cool. Yeah. Theaters are fun. I get it. But theaters are not the way I prefer to watch films. You, you know? prefer to watch them at home? Uh, at home by myself. <laughs> you know, with my snacks and my beers and no one else around. And nobody you know, clapping at the end of the movie. No, even no one smelling, no one farting, air. no one laughing, no one oh, you know, has their phone. But I can have my phone. But you, you know, you know, it's it's. But it, a lot of it stems from the fact is growing up. You know, you go to the rental store, I would rent a VHS movie, and then you'd watch it. I just like I like. That's and then the cool thing about that is that after it's finished, if the ending is super awesome, like in, for instance, the Batman, when the movie's over. 
I rewatch the ending again. I love rewatch if the movie's good and I love the ending, I love rewatching that moment that when I'm watching the film and it's like, oh that's awesome, and then I finish it and then I instantly rewind the movie and watch the ending again. Um that's one of my favorite things to do. And that's how I enjoy watching movies. And uh, I, I and I get the theaters are cool. I just right now I just don't have any interest in you know, braving COVID and going out there and it's just not my favorite way to watch movies. But Oh, I get it. So I sent him a text. He's like, "You are you going to go see Top Gun? You better be seen in the cinema in the biggest theater possible." And I was like, "I like tech." And I texted him back. I was like, mm, "Probably not." <laughs> and I go, "Listen, one of these days you're just going to have to come to terms with the fact that, that you I will pref- never see a movie that I theater. prefer watching movies this way. And I know that I'm different. And I hope you can love me someday. <laughs> He'll never love you. Well." I was trying to make some kind of like gay metaphor there, and uh, yeah, and it didn't work. <laughs> and oh. If he can't, if he can't love me for my differences, then I, I guess. <laughs> we... <laughs> oh Christ! Anyway, you know, if he hasn't loved you for the complete and utter asshole that you are, and I am, then uh, he's well. just yeah. I mean, that guy shouldn't even be seeing movies. He has a movie to edit. He got to finish editing the movie, so he shouldn't be. Yeah, doing... Bobby, get on your fucking movie editing. He shouldn't be finishing, he, or he shouldn't be. He shouldn't be finishing. He should be finishing. He shouldn't be playing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh man, there was some other shit. So like, yeah, there was a bunch of like fucking Star Wars trailers that came out. Did you watch any of those? Andor. Okay, no. fucking Andor. Like. Because it's Star, okay, yeah. Because it's uh, cinema, uh, Star well, Wars. It's, it's, it's Star Wars celebration is going on, or okay. it just happened. So that's why the new yeah. Star Wars game was announced. Uh, they announced uh, season three of Mandalorian <laughs> next year. The uh, what's the girl who showed up? The Jedi that showed up in Mandalorian and Sanka. Ahsoka. Yeah, so her show is coming out next year, mm-hmm. uh, and then Andor. And of all the shows that I don't Andor fucking... Andor or Indoor? Andor. A-N-D-O-R. The dude... It stars the dude from Star Wars Rogue One. Oh, okay. And it's like, of all the guys that we need to show of, not him. Another fucking Boba no. Fett show, dude. Not he to mention memorable. that Rogue One is one of the worst films ever made, but... <laughs> and I that's, didn't really care for Rogue One. That's a spicy take. I get it. It's a fiery, spicy take. But I don't like that movie. And we don't need a guy. We don't need that guy. Anyway, but though that show's coming, so there's that trailer. Oh, yeah. And then uh, there's going to be another, like... Oh, did you watch all those Star Wars, like, Japanese animation short cartoons? No. Oh, that's really good. You should check that out. I will. That's really... And they're they're all short. They're all, like, between 10 and 20 minutes, for the most part. They're, like, really quick. So it's not, like, full episodes. Yeah. They're a little, like... Uh, but anyway, they're doing something similar. They're doing like another kind of anthology cartoon series. And uh, Liam Neeson is going to be in one of the episodes as Qui-Gon. Really? Yeah. That's kind of cool. Yeah. After he said he would not be in another Star Wars show unless it was a movie. So I find that also. His, he had these words about like, oh, I'm not interested in doing a TV show. But if they do a film, I'd be in it. But I guess a cartoon's hmm. different. I guess. <laughs> Well, did, didn't he say that he wanted to be in Obi Wan? I, I don't thought think he so. did. I don't think so. I don't think he understands. He's old. He's an old man. He doesn't understand how things work nowadays. The television's yeah, better than I, film for the most part, but for the most part, yeah. I mean, I don't really, I don't believe in that as a filmmaker, but <laughs> <sighs> what else? I'm trying to think of what else I've seen. Oh, did you see the new? Did you see that new pre- Predator teaser? No, I have not seen that either. Oh my god, that's kind of crazy. I know, the, I know the premise of it though, and it looks awesome. Yeah, so it's like Native American, and, and it's awesome. actually it's actually called Prey, which is weird because there's a video game called Prey, but it's not related. But uh, yeah. yeah, he the Predator lands and is hunting Native American, and it's like this, but this female Native American is gonna like. Looks like it's gonna take him down. It looks, it's really edgy. I mean, it doesn't show a lot in the teaser, but it's like, oh, that's fucking cool. So mm-hmm. hopefully, it hopefully they finally 
land a predator movie. movie. <laughs> yeah. Cause it's been a while. It has. I mean I have a I have a soft spot for the Danny Glover Predator too. Oh, well, that's a fun movie. But uh it's not the original. And then the all the other ones. No. You know, I never saw Predators, the Really? I never is that one any good? Uh it's okay. It's okay. Nothing to write home about, but it's okay. I mean it's enjoyable. Aiden, Adrian Brody Brody's all buff and just not an action leading action man. I I love Adrian Brody though. I don't know. Yeah, but him all buffed out and super hunter and all that shit. I I see him as more of a, a you know serious type actor, not a, a alien predator movie. Uh, uh, eh, you gotta get. I don't know. I got. I I'll, I'll have to watch it. I'll you want to borrow it? it? I got it. I'm pretty sure I can find it on streaming. You probably could. But uh, well, it is owned by Disney, so maybe it's on Hulu. Oh, it might be. You pr- you know what? You're probably right. And if not, it might yeah. be on my friend's server. I have access to my friend's movie server, so it might be on. Oh, uh, okay. But you're probably well, right. If you need it, I got it too. All right. Uh, Let me know by Friday. What? I said, let me know by Friday. Oh yeah. Well, oh yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Barbecues. Yeah, I haven't been to one of those in a while. <laughs> What's a barbecue? A predator barbecue? Yeah, why not? Just trying to think if I've seen anything else. Have you seen anything else? No, you're just playing video no. games. Playing video games, like watching bones. bones. That's bones. Yeah. Bones of all the things. You know, I, did... I know. I like that show. <laughs> so weird. I know. I actually I was thinking about rewatching Battlestar Galactica the other day. But yeah, I was thinking about that too. But then I was like, <laughs> or or I was just gonna go through and watch some of my favorite episodes, which is probably more likely to happen. So yeah, but uh, I missed that show, and I have the box set on Blu-ray because uh-huh. it's not available anywhere on streaming. I thought it was streaming on uh, Amazon. It used to be, but they pulled it. Oh, well, that sucks. But, uh, hmm. yeah, so, I don't know. What else we got? Uh, I ain't got nothing. Come on, what's your newest toy? You must have some new toys. Did you get something new lately? No, I haven't, actually. What? Not in the last couple, not since, yeah, I have them somewhere. What did I get? I thought you got something. Oh, I got Laser Optimus Prime, the generation uh, of the new stuff, Transformers. Oh, is that any good? Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. Oh, we're going for we're going for yeah, a, oh yeah. Uh, and mm. then I got the new blaster. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, that doesn't help very much. No, it helps but quite a bit. All my, oh, Jesus. does it? Okay. Holy shit! <laughs> like I feel like you know, I go to your place <laughs> when I go to your place and you have lots of toys. But like, yeah. I feel like you have so many. Like I feel like it's tripled since the last time I was at your place. Is that even possible? Well, Is that even it's possible? Been th- it's been three years since you've been here. But you've tripled your toys since that time. Well, yeah. I mean, look at that thing. Holy fuck! I'm sure that the the collection <laughs> has gotten bigger and more spread out. I mean, <laughs> look at all that shit. How much? Well, how much is still in storage? Um, about 14 little boxes of them. And you just no way for you to, like, find a way to... No, I don't have anywhere to store them right now. What about the shelf? What about this blank wall behind you? What blank wall? That yeah, my be... kitchen wall? Yeah, that. Why not right no. there? No. Why not? You just put some shelves because up. That's... Put some because shelves I up. actually cook, and I don't <laughs> want the grease and shit getting on my figures. Oh, I suppose that's accurate. Yeah. Suppose, how come yeah. they don't hang any? Like they're flying. I look at mine. Like I got my Starfighter, my X-wing right here. It's flying. I need to do that. I need it's... to get some fish wire and do that with some of my flyers. I don't know. I think it's kind of fun. Yeah, 
It would be. I've got a few flyers, like my archangel and shit. <laughs> I mean, you could, you could do the sentinel for, for all I care. Fuck no, that guy is heavy as shit. <laughs> that is a heavy ass action figure. How much? How it's much do you think it weighs? It's a small child. Is it? Yes, it's it's two feet tall. Does it come apart? No, no, not at all. But his eyes do light up. Oh shit! Oh, they do. Yeah. Stop. Oh, different colors yeah, too. Yeah. One eye's not right, really lighting up though. Uh oh. Broken. Yeah. Does the chest light up too? Yeah, the chest oh. lights up too. So I was like, like, why is your hand so bright? Gotcha. Really fucking bright. There we go. Just the angle that the head is at. What kind of battery? A watch battery or like double A? Double A. <laughs> My head pops off too. Different heads? Yeah. Oh, maybe it's just dirty in there. That's why. The other eye's got a little like... It's got the uh, damaged yeah. skull. It's got the tricentil sentinel skull. You need like a, a like a like a like a professionally scaled wolverine that can climb on him. And it's got a master mold skull hmm. or head. They're heavy. Why is that master mold different than the master mold in the cartoon? Is there a master? I don't know. Is there an act? Is there an action figure of the cartoon master mold? No. There isn't. The, no. That kind of weird white blocky motherfucker. Oh, you mean? This guy? Yeah, isn't that Master Mold from the cartoon? No, this is Nimrod. Oh, Nimrod, that's right. My bad. Nimrod's the one from the future. future. Yeah. Oh, maybe that's why his eye wasn't lit up, because he was looking all the way to the left. Or right. Yeah. So the light's yeah, kind of... Yeah. Yeah. Because that yeah. other part doesn't turn. The bulb, is, the bulb is right here. Yeah, it doesn't turn yeah. with it. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense. Yes, it does. Oh, and he also came with a battle damage hand, too. Oh, that's what I mean. You need like a, like a, a, a scale appropriate, appropriate Wolverine. <laughs> that can like, like hang off of him. I do. Do you? That's the have... right size? Well, is it scale appropriate? Yeah, I think yeah, so. That's pretty close. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. close. This well, is that's a, a pretty cool uh, Wolverine. Where did you get that one? This was one of the last ones that uh, Toy Biz made before they went out of business. Oh, that's a pretty cool one. And before uh, Hasbro took over, he's got so much articulation to him, though. This is oh. the Whedon costume Wolverine, too. In your will, just make sure you write Ian Southworth. <laughs> <laughs> you have to fight Tyler on that. Tyler is not going to take all your fucking toys. Is he going to take all yeah. your toys? I don't know. He keeps saying he will if that's I die. Unf that's unfair. Why do I get none? How come Tyler gets everything and I get nothing? What is that about? I never said... I he nothing. says that he, he, says that he gets my stuff. Oh. No, I did not. He said he does. So Wolverine and Pitt. Wolverine and Pitt, yes. Is that all you want, Wolverine and Pitt? Okay. Mm. Fastball special. Mm -hmm. no, that's cool. Yeah. You gotta have him climbing up and like cutting into the the Sentinel's back, like like. Yeah, they never made a, a back plate that you could that it would have the for the claws to go into it, oh. which is, and I'm not gonna do that to a four hundred and fifty dollar figure. Sorry. No, no, but you should be able to like figure out a way to have him hang off of it. Oh, I, I probably will. Just put him I right around it. the crotch, like he's just like going up his ass. Something like that. Suck like off his dick, Sentinel dick. There you go. Like that. There you go. Look at that. There. Actually, you know what'd be cool. <laughs> you know what'd be cool. Do you have a Colossus of the same size? Um, I have Age of Apocalypse Colossus. Oh, that's kind of uh, close. I don't have normal Colossus, though. It'd be funny if you, like, could, can you make 
Wolverine into a ball? <laughs> Colossus won't hold Wolverine. No, but like you can in a diorama pose, you could have it looks like Colossus is throwing the fastball Wolverine. special towards the Sentinel. <laughs> you could hang him. You that. could hang him underneath the shelf there, like in a in a in a ball. Yeah. That'd be kind of funny. <laughs> I could do that with the the Kitty Pride too. People would be like, "What From... the fuck is this about?" Oh, you have to watch the whole. It's a whole story that's going on here, guys. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Well, we got an hour. Do you have anything else you want to add? No, I, I don't have anything I want to add that I know of. No. When is that? Good. When is that Optimus drop? June first. Oh man, you're gonna have it soon then. Hopefully. Yeah. You gonna wait? Are you gonna like wait, like wait in line or some shit for that? Or what are you gonna? I'm do? I'm just gonna go to Walmart on um, June first, June second, June third. No, you're not gonna before lie. Before work, just like, see if wait. I can grab them. Wait, wait for the doors to open, kind of shit. They open at six, and I get there at like six eleven. They're all gonna be gone. Probably, but I'll find them. I'll have them. And by the time we, hopefully, by the time when we record, you'll have them built. It. Yeah, yeah. That's cool, man. I'm very excited for this. I'm glad I'm that I, I'm very, I'm very excited that someone's going to have it. <laughs> Yeah, right. You're definitely gonna have. You're definitely gonna when if you get it. You're de- we're definitely gonna have to talk about that one on the episode. Of course, I'm very excited. Oh. Of course, we're gonna have to talk about him because he. I'm excited about it. I showed my mom asked me, "What do you want for your birthday?" And I was like, "I want this." And I sent her a screenshot of Optimus, and she's like, "No, funny, <laughs> but no." <laughs> Fine, I'll buy it myself. That's exactly what I said. Oh, that's super cool. Uh, you just said money. How about some money? Yeah, my parents won't give me money. Oh. They like getting me s- small trinkets for my birthday. I got you. And this birthday is kind of a different birthday with my sister, but... Right. You know. Yeah. How's that going? Is she She's good, though, right? She's doing all right? She's, she's good. good. She's home. Dude, the guy... the So, Eric in the band, the drummer, mm-hmm. he was... He's having a... He had a kidney transplant. Just recently, how'd that go? Well, his body kind of something happened, and the body rejected it. Oh no! But they don't know why. So he's healing up right now. Uh huh. And they're trying to figure out what happened, so they can try it again. But if the body With rejects another... it again, that's it. Oh. They're not going to give him another one. No. It's you gnarly, get dude. Too it's gnarly, yeah. man. It's crazy. So I'm just like, hopefully your sister's, hopefully your sister's just doing super good, because that's got to be oh. fucking scary, dude. Yeah, it is. It is scary. You know, so. she's no longer on dialysis, which is fantastic. Yeah, that's cool. She's at home and recovering, and everything is slow going for her. Yeah, no, he's not. He's not even at home. He they they he's released the they released him to an adult care facility to get healthy, but then oh, so, then something happened there, and he's back at OHSU again. Oh, so, and maybe maybe he was in the same wing as my sister. Uh, I think he was. I think he went in slightly after she was done. But uh, oh, no, she, I just, it's just crazy. For, it's just crazy to think like two, two people that I'm slightly, you know, one that I know and one person that I know, sister. Like two people in my kind of circle have gotten transplants in the last month. Is just kind of like. Like what the fuck? Right? <laughs> like how it's weird. This yeah. is very weird. And then they're going different directions. It's crazy. So it's scary. Yeah. But uh no, it's good to hear that she's doing well. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I what? will see her on my birthday. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. And we'll see you the day after your birthday. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, um <laughs> Do you want me to just take the max up to like Delta Park? Would that be easier? Well, I'm gonna. I'll, I'll well? talk to Dave tonight because I think I might. I mean, that works too. But I might, and maybe you can work it out with Dave. I was gonna ask Dave if he can just like swing by and pick you up. So maybe if there's a way mm-hmm. to make it easier for him to pick you up. But I figured if I could, he could like probably pick you up and then drop you off. Okay. And uh, that's probably my game plan. So I was gonna ask him tonight. But uh, yeah, so that's probably what's gonna happen. Okay. But I'll let All you. Right, know. Yeah. I'll keep you in the loop. Cool. Do please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll be exciting for you to see the house and everything. Super excited. Yeah. Yeah. Um all right, let's get the fuck out of here. Um 
<laughs> we are the Milkman and Reverend Show. We are, obviously, you've been listening to us yammer on about nerdy geek shit like cannonballs. Speed, fastballs? Fastball specials. Sorry. Yes, fastball specials. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering where you were going with that one. Also, Cannonball is an X-Men, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> but he doesn't need help. He can do it himself. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't need to be thrown. He doesn't need to be thrown. Uh, anyway, we do a podcast. If you've been listening to it. You can find us everywhere podcasts are made. Uh, we have uh, milkmanreverend at gmail.com. We also have a Twitter, which I believe is similar. <laughs> I think it's Milkman Reverend. Yeah. Uh, we have a hearty collection of like five people that listen to this podcast. Um, that's Hi guys. cool. Hi. Hi guys. We do a very be- poor job of uh sharing doing it. a weekly, monthly po- podcast, monthly, or just sharing it with people. I, mainly, <laughs> mainly, I just do this to hang out with my friend Rev, check up on him every so often, make sure he's not you know dying in a pile of action figures. Uh, it would be a sad day when they all fall. <laughs> Oh man, earthquake! What? Right. Wouldn't that be gnarly? You know what though? It would give you something to do. <laughs> yeah, after I cry for about a week and a half. Oh, it'd be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks everyone for listening. Thanks Rev for being on the show as always, being of my course. partner in crime. Of course. Uh, and we'll uh, talk to you guys all later. Bye, guys. Bye. Ding. Oh, let me play the music. You know, I don't hear the music. I know you don't. Bastard. <laughs>